Hi there, and welcome to what is now episode 6 of our Minecraft Survival Let's Play series. In the previous episode, we built this lovely little library and enchantment table and enchanted our first diamond pickaxe, which got an efficiency 4 and unbreaking 3. But today, I find myself with only 25 levels, and uh, I think that we need some sort of mob farm to actually, um, yeah, get some more levels and progress a bit. I've got loads of torches. Why have I got so many torches? That's redonkulous. Uh, so yeah, today I think it's time that we did a mob farm. Uh, just a very, very simple one. And I have one down here. I can hear a slime. Oh, a big slime. Yay, lots of slime. Uh, I have one down at the end of one of these corridors somewhere. Which I actually... Mark down the location of, and, oh god, you're big. Not really. Um, and built a fast track route to it, which I think is this one. It might be that one over there. So I have two. There's one skeleton one and one zombie one. I think this is the skeleton one. If I go all the way to the end, I think I can see a little white skeleton in that little cage over there. Are you a skeleton? You are a skeleton. So yes, I found this dungeon... Which gave me some records and stuff. Why can I hear some slimes? Is there some slime behind this wall somewhere? Ooh, hello, iron ore. Well, that's nice, isn't it? Maybe it's below me. Ooh, more iron ore. Isn't that lovely? I'll need this for, um... What's it called, these? What do you call them? You know, those things that you, uh... Hoppers, that's the one. Thanks for that. Um, right, let's cover this stuff up. We don't need any of this. Showing, I'll need to find that slime. If there's a, an uncovered cave somewhere nearby, I'll have to get rid of that. Oh yeah, I know. Right, okay. So, what do we want to do with this? So we want a room that is kind of 9 by 9 um, with a bit of a ceiling and what, 2 up and... Yeah, 9x9, nine 9, 2 up, which I think is already there. I think we already go 2 up, don't we? Um, but we need to break this out and get 9x9 nine nine and 2 below it as well. So I'm going to go ahead and clear out a load of space here now. And I'll be back shortly. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, there's our beautiful 9x9. Nine nine. So now we need to go 2 down. And, uh, yeah, make some sort of mechanism where we can make some water flow. There's some water behind that wall. Uh, I have checked it. It, it does um, it doesn't go anywhere. It is all dark. It, it is all lit up and everything so no mobs will spawn there. So I'm just going to go away and make sure this is... Oh, more iron. That's nice. going to need more hoppers. Uh, make sure that this is too deep and then I will be back in a second. Okay, so that's too deep. So the next thing we need to do is water, which I forgot buckets of water for. Um, and then we need to make some sort of water draining system for the um, for the skeletons to come out of. So I need to go and get some buckets of water and I'll be right back with that. Okay, just the uh, one, two, three, four, five buckets of water for now. I'm only going to need two of these actually. I want to shove one down there and, whoops, pick it up and one there. And the reason for that is then I need to... Oh, God. S cave system underneath me as well. Damn it. <laughs> I need to um, I need to sort that out. So I will need to fill this hole in. And, yeah, make a, a kind of funneling system that goes into the middle there. So I'll be right back with that. Okay, there's the funneling system done, so that will push anything into this bit here, and then from here, I'm going to need to go back and build a load of signs, I need to create some sort of big creep elevator to push everyone up, so I won't need a block there, so I'll do that, and so everything is going to go up there, and then we're going to need to clear out a room here for them to come back down into, 
So I'll be right back with a load of signs. I think, uh, is it 22 blocks they need to fall? Something like that. Um, so I'll need a good 14, 15 signs, something like that. I'm not sure. We'll see what it is. I'll get, uh, I'll get 20 odd signs just to be on the safe side. Right, so I've gone ahead and I've built, I've built loads of signs, I've built far too many actually. Um, but I've brought 30 odd with me, so I need to start thinking about how I'm going to do this. So I need to put a sign down there, I need to put a sign there, and then I need to put some cobblestone here, and I will put some water there. And so that forms the first level of our mob elevator. So they'll all come down into there and then start going upwards. So that's fantastic. Um, so now I just need to do that and go 22, I think it is, blocks up. And I also need to clear out a big room here. So let's do that as well. And I'll be back, um, yeah, pretty soon. Right, it's starting to take shape. And there's a big cavern above me that I'm trying to get work around as well. Uh, I thought the best way to do this was to go to 20 two or twenty three blocks upwards first so this is going to be where they all um, where they'll land and just tower myself upwards and through there and then work along and then drop back down again so yeah I've basically got a load of filling in to do now um, I've got about seven levels up so that's about fourteen blocks is that right one two three four five now I've got about six levels up um, so that's about twelve blocks so yeah I've got a way to go um, but, yeah, it won't take that long. Let's go back up again. Okay, that should be just about done now. So what I'll do to test it very quickly is... Let's put some random water in there. Jump in here. And I'll get pushed along there. And taken up. If I hold down the space bar here. I've left a few windows in. So that you can see all the way up. And the windows will eventually go away. And we will get to the top. And then get pushed along. And then fall down. And for us we'll land in the water. But for any mobs they will land on a big block there. So. Um, not going to open it up to the public just yet. I'm going to do some tidying up around here and uh, hopefully come back with something that I'm actually proud of because uh, this just looks like a complete mess at the moment <laughs> so I'll be back very shortly oh we're getting there I built this room far too high so I'm having to build those of scaffolding to actually get rid of things but uh, yeah, we're getting there. It's, it's, it's not looking too bad at the moment. Um, what I'll probably end up doing is having some sort of control system, like a, a lever to turn it on and off, and you know, a lever to turn it on to um, collection mode rather than uh, XP mode. But um, yeah, more digging, more putting bricks down. I've nearly run out of bricks and smooth stone, so I've, I've just gone and put a load of stuff in the furnaces. Uh, so that shouldn't be that should be done pretty damn soon. I think I put like 10 stacks of cobblestone in there, so yeah, more digging. There we go, a lovely grey box, beautiful. All the walls are lined and everything looks sexy. Um, so I've got a little plan, is to put some glass in these areas here, so you can see things going up, and then I'll make this tube, which sticks out a little bit, I'll put this glass down towards the bottom here, I don't know what flooring I'm going to use yet, whether it's going to be wood or stone, or even something more, a little bit more special. Ah, what about lapis? That's an interesting thought. Uh, either way, um, the box is done, and it even has torches and everything, and it's a little bit tall, but ah well. Um, I might make that a little bit tidier behind there, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm quite liking this at the moment. We're looking good. So, next step is let's do the flooring and uh, widen this area out here a bit as well to make it the corridor look a bit nicer okay here it is the entrance to our mob farm if I go down here down these lovely stairs 
and then along here this beautiful little corridor here I get to what we had before which is this lovely big grey box so the next step is for us to uh, bring this down a bit with glass I still have some blue glass left over from the uh, library build so let's bring this all the way down to here and um, let's shove a piece of glass there for things to... F uh, do they actually die on glass? oh dear haven't thought that one through. Let's grab a piece of cobble. Cobble goes there. So, yeah, it's time to actually test this contraption to see if it actually works. Um, yeah. I'm going to have to dig a little bit of a, a way out of here, like that. And then, this is the dangerous part, isn't it? So, let's go to the far corner over here. Grab that torch. Grab that torch. Oh, God. So much more difficult than I thought it would be. Ow! Ow! There's someone already. Got the other torches. Go away! No, stop! Oh no! I don't want to be in here. Let me out! Let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. Oh, there we go. One more torch over there. There we go. Got that one. And that one. Right. Definitely time to get out. Put that there, just in case. Well, I think they'll still be able to... There we go. So now... Oh, we should probably block this stuff off. Can I reach that up there? Nope. Well, we can reach these three. Whoops. This is all going to pop. I really hope that they actually uh, die when they come back down. <laughs> but, uh, yeah... It's actually, um, at least it's spawning monsters, which is a good thing. And let's see if they actually die when they come back down. Oh, they die when they come back down, which is not the intended idea. So if I put a, a block there, there we go. And then, ah, two hits to kill them. Not bad. Not bad at all. So what I'll do is I'll make a little bit of a step up here. And then the killing area will be one step higher than this. And yeah. These guys are going to take a little bit more killing, aren't they? Because they got armor. But yeah, I'll uh, I'll go and refine this design a little bit more. And I'll be back shortly. Look at that. Already got four bones and some extra arrows. Oh, well, some of them do die to one punch, which is cool. I think that's because some of them, at the end of it, they will jump when they reach the far end. Um, the last little bit of water. So, yeah, I'll refine that design a little bit and I'll be back very soon. Okay, looking good. So, a little bit of refining that I've done is put some half slabs below these, um, or at the bottom of the glass because I was getting a little bit shot. Um, I lost a little bit of health. And, um, well, that's about it, really. Um, you can't jump up there anymore. You can't get that close to them. So what I might do is move some of these corner half slabs, but it's a maximum of two. Sometimes they're one, sometimes they actually die on impact. The only way you can change that is if I go and get some sort of vines. If I get some shears and get some vines and put that at the top, then I'll be able to uh, make sure it's always one click, one hit death. Uh, but I've also brought some chests down here so I can go and shove, say, bones in this one and arrows in this one when there are some let's just shove some of my arrows in there um, I started with like 12 arrows so I've actually done pretty damn well in fact yeah let's say minus 3 arrows and that'll do and in here let's just put all the bones in here and if I get any um, oh no I'm out of bones let's just do that then and if I get any, if I happen to get any bows and stuff, then they can go and get destroyed or something. I don't know. Don't know what I'll do with bows or random bits of armor yet. Probably just get rid of them, to be honest. There we go. Got a little more stuff. So have I got enough bones now to fill this? No, not quite. Um, but yeah, that's the main portion of the build done. We actually have ourselves a bit of an XP farm. I'm up to level 32 now, which is awesome. Um... So I'm going to bring the episode to a close here um, because I think 
Mission accomplished. Doesn't quite... It's not 100%, but it's pretty much there. Um, and it's all decorated and it looks lovely. So, yeah. I'll as ever say thank you very much for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye now. So, just as a little plus one, before I end the episode, I think I'll just spend these levels that I have and enchant the pickaxe that I just built. So, here we go. Let's see what we get. And it is... Fortune 2, yes, I, do. I wanted a fortune pickaxe, so that's fantastic. So I've actually got a fortune pickaxe so that I can go and mine some diamonds properly and stuff like that. So, yeah, chuff with that. Um, but yeah, I'll end the episode again. <laughs> Thanks again. Bye-bye now.